Tom. Martinis. I was looking for a needle and thread. Will there be a Ripley season two? If you enjoyed the first season of Ripley on Netflix, you might be curious about the chances for a second season. The show's director has given a cautious response about its return. There are some key parts of the adaptation that have divided both audiences and critics, which we'll dive into. Plus, we'll discuss who might star in a potential Ripley season two. Here's everything we know so far. First, let's delve into how Netflix's Ripley season two chances get a cautious response from a director. When it comes to the possibility of Ripley season two, there's cautious optimism from its creator. Based on Patricia Highsmith's iconic 1955 thriller novel, The Talented Mr. Ripley, the series initially developed for Showtime found its home on Netflix and premiered on April 4. Andrew Scott stars as Tom Ripley, who is enlisted by the parents of his acquaintance Dickie Greenleaf, played by Johnny Flynn, to persuade him to return from Italy, sparking a web of deceit and murder. Collider interviewed creator and showrunner Steven Zalian about Netflix's Ripley, specifically asking about the potential for a second season. Zalian acknowledged the lengthy five-year journey to bring the current season to fruition, highlighting the need to consider the time commitment for any future installments. However, he expressed enthusiasm for the character of Tom Ripley, noting there's plenty more material to explore both on the page and on screen. While he emphasized the challenges of the production timeline, Zalian confirmed his openness to continuing Ripley's story under the right circumstances. There are other books and they're really good. I would do it again if I was able to, but by that I mean, do I have another five years to do it? I'd have to think about that aspect of it. But in terms of the character continuing, yes, I think there's a lot more with Tom Ripley. Tom Ripley goes through a lot of changes over the course of the five books and they're all interesting, so yeah, absolutely. And there have been movies made about the other books too, so given the right circumstances, yes. As Zalian pointed out, the Ripley cast isn't the first to interpret these characters. The novel has seen several adaptations, including the 2012 Indian film Non, featuring V.J. Antony, the 1999 Hollywood movie The Talented Mr. Ripley, featuring Matt Damon, and the 1960 French film Purple Noon with Alain Delon. Additionally, there are four other Highsmith novels continuing Ripley's adventures. With plenty of storylines left to explore, two Ripley novels have yet to be adapted for the screen. This potential allows the series to innovate after its third season, not only bringing fresh narratives to viewers, but also maintaining consistency with a single lead actor portraying Ripley's entire journey. The scope of Highsmith's source material also suggests a natural conclusion around five seasons, akin to popular streaming series like Netflix's You, which concludes with its fifth season. The talented Mr. Ripley marked the first of five novels by Patricia Highsmith, offering ample content for Netflix to draw from. Ultimately, the decision to continue Ripley hinges largely on the series' performance within its initial 30 days on the platform. The availability of key creatives like Zalian and the versatile Andrew Scott will also play pivotal roles. However, should the show resonate strongly with audiences, it has the potential to become one of the most comprehensive and rich adaptations of Highsmith's work to date. Sure, when diving into the most polarizing aspects of Netflix's Ripley adaptation that have split both critics and audiences, there are several key points to consider. Ripley follows the cunning con artist Tom Ripley, portrayed by Andrew Scott, as he navigates from New York to Italy becoming fixated on an old acquaintance and entangling himself in a web of deceit and crime. Alongside Scott, Johnny Flynn, Dakota Fanning, Elliot Summer, and Maurizio Lombardi play significant roles in this adaptation. One of the standout features of Ripley is its distinct black-and-white visual style, a departure from typical modern TV aesthetics. This bold choice, reminiscent of Caravaggio's chiaroscuro paintings, lends the series a striking and unique visual identity. However, this stylistic decision hasn't been universally embraced. Some fans of Highsmith's novel and previous adaptations argue that the lack of color diminishes the aspirational allure of Dickey's sun-soaked Italian lifestyle. They feel the absence of vibrant hues robs the setting of its warmth and charm. Moreover, Ripley takes a deliberate and measured pace, eschewing the fast-paced thriller approach some viewers might expect from a crime drama. This slower narrative tempo 
aims to delve deep into Tom Ripley's psyche and motivations rather than focusing solely on his criminal escapades across Europe. This methodical storytelling, while immersive for some, has left others craving more excitement and suspense typically associated with the genre. Comparisons to the 1999 film adaptation starring Matt Damon inevitably arise, but Ripley sets itself apart by staying closer to the novel's narrative roots. This fidelity to the source material means the series explores facets of Tom Ripley's character and storyline that previous adaptations may have glossed over or reinterpreted. Andrew Scott's portrayal of Tom Ripley has been a particularly divisive point. Unlike previous iterations of the character, Scott's Ripley is portrayed as cold-blooded and unlikable, lacking the charismatic charm seen in other portrayals. This departure from a more affable Ripley has drawn both praise for its darker complexity and criticism for making the character less sympathetic. Additionally, some critiques have centered on the age of the characters in the series. Unlike the novel, where Tom and Dickie are in their 20s, the series casts actors in their 40s, such as Andrew Scott and Johnny Flynn. This age shift alters the dynamics and believability of certain character relationships and motivations, challenging the audience's perception compared to the novel's original intentions. Finally, the introduction of Inspector Ravini, played by Maurizio Lombardi, as a prominent character diverges from the novel's focus but enriches the series with a noir detective subplot. While adding depth to the narrative, this deviation has sparked debate, with some feeling it detracts from Tom Ripley's central storyline. In essence, Netflix's Ripley adaptation takes bold creative risks that have sparked intense discussion among viewers and critics. Whether praised for its visual artistry and psychological depth, or critiqued for its departures from previous adaptations and source material fidelity, Ripley remains a thought-provoking addition to the legacy of Patricia Highsmith's iconic character. Looking ahead to a potential second season of Netflix's Ripley, casting choices will play a crucial role in expanding the series' narrative and character dynamics. Naturally, Andrew Scott would reprise his role as Tom Ripley, the enigmatic and morally ambiguous protagonist. Alongside Scott, John Malkovich would likely return as Reeves Minot, Ripley's criminal associate who plays a significant role in the Ripley novels. Malkovich's portrayal adds a layer of complexity and intrigue to Ripley's underworld connections. Expanding the cast for future seasons, especially drawing from Patricia Highsmith's subsequent novels, like Ripley Underground, introduces new characters and challenges for Tom Ripley. One pivotal role to be filled would be that of Eloise Plison, Ripley's wife and a wealthy French heiress. This character brings a fresh dynamic to Ripley's world, providing opportunities for exploration of wealth, deception, and personal relationships. For the role of Eloise Plisson, many fans have expressed excitement about the possibility of Ava Green taking on the role. Known for her captivating and often enigmatic performances, Green's presence could indeed inject a devilish and magnetic energy into the series, complementing Scott's portrayal of Tom Ripley. Regarding Maurizio Lombardi's character, Inspector Pietro Ravini, his return in a potential second season remains uncertain but intriguing. Ravini's pursuit of Ripley adds a detective noir element to the storyline, showcasing the cat and mouse game between law enforcement and the cunning Ripley. Lombardi's performance was notable for its depth and subtlety, leaving audiences curious about his character's future interactions with Ripley. As the series navigates through more of Highsmith's intricate plots and morally ambiguous characters, the casting decisions for these pivotal roles will be crucial in maintaining the series' allure and expanding its narrative depth. With a blend of returning favorites and new additions, Netflix's Ripley has the potential to further captivate audiences with its compelling storytelling and nuanced character portrayals. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.